I was driving my vehicle one evening when I noticed my lights getting dimmer. Out in the middle of the wild, as Pastor Mike shared last week, far from home, this was pre-cell phones, too late for stores to be open, I would be stuck walking for hours. I mean, my situation seemed hopeless. Did you know that's how it is spiritually without the Holy Spirit in our lives? No power for our lights. No way we can please Him. No way we can know the direction He wants us to go. No way we can do the deeds He means for us to do. We have to be tapped into Him to be righteous. Anyone can make cookies, mow a lawn, write an encouraging word, but to be led in what to say, when to say it, how to say it, I believe takes the Holy Spirit. In the book of James, it says that faith without deeds is dead. That's similar to saying talk without action is worthless. Well, 1 Corinthians 4.20 says, For the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. The power represents the presence of God, as Pastor Tim spoke about yesterday. You see, the word tells us that no one, or not everyone, who says, Lord, Lord, will enter heaven. That means our lives must include abiding in the Spirit, or we will lack His power. You see, transformation is not done by human choice or willpower. Even King David said, Create in me a clean heart, O God. He knew he needed God's help to do what he himself nor man can do. You see, in day-to-day -day life, some people feel empowered by relationships, by finances, status, information, their family name. For some, it's their addiction that they think empowers them. For others, it's their appearance or their gifting. You see, some feel empowered by just checking out, and others are empowered by their faith. I have found that I can drift from one to another in the same day if I'm not in tune with my emotions and my intentions. But the kingdom of God is of power, that scripture says. That means relying on the effectiveness of the Holy Spirit. You see, He softens hard hearts. He delivers people from the slavery of sin and Satan. He transforms and renews us both inwardly and outwardly. He brings us to life spiritually. He comforts us. He strengthens and establishes us in Christ, none of which can ever be ascribed to the persuasive language of men. No, it's by the power of God. So we trust not in persuasive philosophies or theories. You see, we trust in our Creator, the all-powerful one, the one who loves the unlovely, the one who forgives the unforgivable, the patient one who waits for the prodigals who don't even plan to come home. I invite you to join his team this week by saying yes to doing spirit-led, powerful things that can change lives. Speak love. Express forgiveness. Be patient. As Miss Julie said yesterday, these are the fruit of his spirit that helps us to be the light of the world as we live in his power to be like him for his glory. And by the way, while an alternator might need be to be replaced in your car, the Holy Spirit will always be able to empower you for the tasks God has for you. This has been your one-a-day journey of faith. I'm Pastor Ed, and I trust that you are connected to a life group that will encourage you and help you use your spiritual gifts. God bless you.